I'm Benny Boyd. I'm a defensive back coach, and assistant special teams coordinator. Well, I kind of bumped my head on coaching, actually. Um, I went to Aurora University in Aurora, Illinois, a Division III school outside Chicago. And I finished up my undergrad studies and was going to graduate school. I actually had a GA uh, graduate assistantship set up with the basketball program. Well, then as fall was getting closer and I was looking at my finances, I realized I was broken and didn't have any money. And so what I did was I went to the head coach at the time, uh, Jim Scott, and asked if there was anything I could do for the football program. You know, I was willing to cut the grass, paint the lines, just anything to get me a little bit of money in my pocket so I could live. And actually, I was just trying to make it till I got to basketball with that grad assistantship. And as the year went on, um, they kept giving me more and more responsibility. By the end of that year, I ended up being corners coach. I transitioned to the next year I came back. Didn't do basketball as a GA, but did football again in my second year of graduate school. And uh, was the assistant special teams coordinator there and the cornerbacks coach. And then as I was finishing up my graduate studies, the offensive coordinator at Luther College, or I'm sorry, at Aurora University got a head coaching job at Luther College at the time, and uh, he took me with him. So I went out to Luther College, and uh, I thought I'd try it for a year, um, maybe get back in. My original, original goal was to be a high school basketball coach and a social worker. Um, and as I got into it, I, I found my passion and fell in love with it. Here I sit today. Set, go. <laughs> in terms of being an African American in the football program, I'm, I'm glad to be able to be a resource for some of the young men. Having been through um, a lot of the experiences they're going through, not to say that I know what they're going through, but I can identify. And being, being a little bit older, seeing, I've seen a few more winners than these young men. I love to be able to be a mentor, a model, and a sounding board for these young people. So in that aspect, I love it. Um, and in terms of being an African American here in Grand Forks, you know, never having been in North Dakota or Grand Forks before I got here, I did not know what to expect, and I have to say I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I thought of North Dakota as being it was going to be Hickville, USA, and there was going to be uh, people riding horses down the streets and pitching posts, you know, outside uh, the university, but that was far, far from, from what I experienced. Um, this is a place that does have a good amount of diversity, and it's a place that people support good people. And so if you're a person that's a positive person and, and, and you're doing good things for the community, you're going to be supported and you're going to be embraced. So that was something that has, has been a pleasant surprise, not that I expected it to be negative uh, from any aspect, but it's been much more positive than I anticipated. So it's been a, it's been a great transition, a very easy transition to navigate for me. Yeah, we gotta get set, we gotta get set! Yeah. You know, no disrespect to any of the guys that I coached previously. Um, I love all those guys, but the athleticism um, is different. Uh, you know, we have guys that can get from point A to point B a lot quicker. Um, so the speed of the game is a lot different. And good thing for me though, the nature of the game hasn't changed. It's still about blocking and tackling. We don't want to give up explosive plays. Um, and so it's about getting our, our bodies in position to make those plays. So the nuts and bolts of it, um, the inner workings of football is exactly the same as it was when I started playing football you know, way back as a young kid. Um, so from Division Three to FCS, that hasn't changed. But again, the speed of the game, some of the demands um, are maybe a little bit higher, although Division Three again, it was a, it was a high, uh, high level of, of competition high level of expectation, but that's just been ratcheted up, quite honestly, coming here to the FCS level. So um, the challenge has been great, one that I uh, have accepted, and I've tried to rise to every day, and I try to challenge my young men to do the same thing.